Affiliate marketing is going to be dead for 99% of people watching this video in 2024. There, I said it, it's the truth, and let's get into it now as to why most people are going to fail at affiliate marketing. Now, I know it is a topic that upsets some people but this needs to be covered in detail today, and I'm gonna tell you five reasons why affiliate marketing is going to be dead for most people in 2024, and I'm gonna talk about this seriously, and I want to get the truth out there for people who are in this for quick money, or who think that this model of business is right for them. It is not to demotivate anyone. It is not to tell you you're completely wrong. You should go do something else. But it's to tell you the truth of the industry from somebody that's been doing this for over 20 years. I've been an affiliate marketer full time since 2015, but I started in 2002. I've spent millions of dollars in paid advertising. I've done media buys on every platform you can think of. And I've seen what I think all problems that have happened over the years and we're going to talk about those what's happening in 2024 that's different than the last decade and how you can change your business to make it work so it's not all doom and gloom today we're also going to talk about how you can fix it so that you come out ahead at the end and the video today is actually inspired by some of the comments I received on my previous videos where some people are saying that I make it look too easy to make money online. So I wanted to make sure that people don't think it's too easy. The purpose of the videos I put on YouTube are to show people strategies and methods to inspire ideas. So now if you want the reality, let's get into it now. Number one is the misconception of this being easy money. You see, a lot of videos on YouTube, including some of my own, make it look like it's easy to make money. Sometimes affiliate marketing is pitched as a internet lifestyle, beach-worthy lifestyle where you can sit on a beach, make passive income. But in reality, this is not true and a lot of affiliates coming in have unrealistic expectations and therefore they come in, they think it's as easy as setting up a few links on a website getting some traffic and making conversions and all of a sudden you're gonna start making money. But once people start doing this and realizing that they're not getting any conversions, they're not getting any traffic, they become upset, maybe they become discouraged and they end up quitting. And this is very common. It has been happening since the start of the internet, since the start of affiliate marketing. People have come in thinking that this is going to be an easy model to work with, but in reality, Affiliate marketing is a real business and there's so many people coming into the field that are trying methods that used to work 10 or 15 years ago that aren't working today. So how do we fix that? How can you make sure you don't fall into the trap of these people and become one of the one percenters that come out ahead? Well, you need to start investing time and energy into learning the things that you need for affiliate marketing, like project management. There's actually, you have to manage projects. You have to understand marketing, how to deliver messages to the right people. You need to understand who you're talking to, how to talk to them, how to persuade them. And this all requires active learning. You need to learn and understand that this is a real business and you need to take the time to take some specific courses or training on this. Yes, you can find the information for free on YouTube. If you're watching this video, this is the first start of learning what you're going to need to do to have success. So number two, the reason why affiliate marketing will be dead for many people is market saturation and ad transparency. This is a double-edged sword. And for most people who don't know how to get around this, it's going to result in your affiliate business failing. And so let's talk about this. What am I talking about here? Market saturation first. Well, let's think about this for a second. We have Google, we have TikTok, we have Facebook, all of these places, all of these platforms that we can advertise on. Once used to be the wild west of affiliate marketing where you could go in and you could just create things and 
you'd be ranking and you'd be getting traffic. Well, all of these companies have become publicly traded. Now you go into these companies and their main bottom line is profitability. They need to be profitable. So they start selling more ad space. More companies see results. They start spending more money. Major companies that used to use TV ads are coming onto the internet and now they're buying up all that ad space. And now us affiliates are competing. It's completely saturated. Every single place that you go to now is more expensive and there's more competition, basically. Couple this with what's happening in the rules of advertising and all of these cases happening against major platforms on privacy, where now you can see everyone's ads through the Google Ads Transparency Center or the Facebook Ads Library or the TikTok Ads Library all of the affiliates out there being trained to spy on other affiliates while at the same time everybody's looking at everyone's ads we can all see what everybody's doing it just becomes completely saturated this is why it's getting extremely difficult how do we fix this how do we come around as the winner in the end well it all comes down to creativity and doing something that cannot be copied or doing things that are harder to copy. So for example, it's a lot harder for people to copy my YouTube channel, doing all the videos, doing all of the work involved to create this content. While it's a lot easier to create a blog and copy everyone's written content, video marketing is becoming very popular in today's day and age. Short form video is becoming very popular for ads because it's a lot harder to copy somebody's ads from video than it is from images and text. These are just minor little things. There's other things we can do as affiliates to come out ahead that make it harder for people to do what we're doing. Build trust with your audience, build a brand, build a website that is long term and have it built so that you can sell it in the future. That is hard to copy. If you're coming into affiliate marketing thinking you're just gonna rip everyone's campaigns, come in, buy some traffic, and do what other people are doing, you are going to lose. You need data, you need your own data, you need to keep your data secret, and you need to use that data to inform yourself on new ads, okay? And we're gonna get into this again in another topic here in a bit. But let's just first say this. If you're out to just rip and run, that method is dying and it's not gonna work like it used to. Let's move on to the next topics. I have three more, but first, if you like this type of content, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps motivate me for future videos. So let's get started. Let's go into number three. The third reason why affiliate marketing is going to be dead for many affiliates in 2024 is simply because of AI and automation. AI and automation have been trending recently and it's huge. It's a tech boom that is not only intimidating for many people, but it's also very helpful for people that know how to use it properly. There's two things that I wanna cover in this topic because there's not only automation and AI for ad creation and campaign creation, but there's also automation in content creation. So for example, let's talk about the ad side of it first. For affiliates out there that want to embrace AI and use it for coming up with new angles for their ad campaigns or new ad ideas, this is going to be extremely exciting, especially now, because if we can get ahead of the curve, then we can be using these tools before they become all mainstream and everybody already knows about it. Now is the opportunity. So by using this time now to take advantage of that opportunity, some of us are going to be making some really good changes to our campaigns, which will result in more profits. However, if you cannot embrace change and you cannot use AI and you're you're scared of it and it intimidates you, this may actually be a big hindrance because it is here and I think it's here to stay. Next, I wanna talk about the content side of AI and automation. For example, my YouTube channel here, I'm speaking to the camera, I'm looking at you, I'm talking to you, you know I am human, and that is why you probably trust it more than a faceless YouTube channel or some type of blog content that is created on the internet. And that also affects our ad campaigns. People trust faces, they trust people, they, they trust brands that are real. If we're using AI in a way that tries to automate where we can just sit back and, and create content on autopilot, that is going to die quickly. So if that's your method, then you need to really rethink your strategy here. People's buying behaviors may be changing, but I think it really comes down to trust 
And if people can't trust your content, they can't trust your ads, and you don't have a personal feel to your content and ads, you will fail. So my point here and the takeaway is we need to balance automation and efficiency with human touch and creativity. And we can't just go all automatic because really all of these platforms and their AI tools are getting smarter. Now with respect to bidding strategies, I for one wanna talk about that quickly because bidding strategies on many, many of these platforms like Facebook and Google have changed. Basically, back in the day, we were told to target people based on specific interests that they have. And this is still being pitched as one of the best strategies. But in reality, these AI based algorithms on those major platforms are changing where now we can create broad campaigns using their AI for bidding. And it helps us if we give more of our data that we've collected to these algorithms to make their decisions easier in the end, creating more profitability for us. So if that's confusing or if I, I haven't been clear on that, feel free to post comments or ask us in the forum at Powerhouse Affiliate or do some more research on how AI is affecting bidding strategies for our ad campaigns and how to create content that is more real. And the fourth reason why affiliate marketing is going to be dead for most affiliates in 2024 is because of consumer trust and a smarter consumer. You see, some of the messages we used to use as affiliates 10 years ago simply do not work anymore. The average consumer is smarter, they need more information, and they need to trust who they are buying from. The fact of the matter is, many affiliates have a tendency to stretch the truth. We try to persuade aggressively with our ad copy, and our landing pages, and this is getting more difficult. Conversion rates are starting to be affected when we go over the edge. This stuff used to work back in the day because it was very highly aggressive. There was a lot of cheaper traffic, but now you need to be a smarter marketer. This misinformation and deceptive marketing has changed consumer behavior and people are becoming wiser. They know when we are not telling the truth. That is why our messages need to be more crafted and more genuine. And this presents a challenge, especially for affiliate marketers, because many of the algorithms on these ad platforms reward us when we have high click-through rates, because that shows the algorithm that people are interested in our content. So that is why we're seeing these images and these videos and these headlines very aggressive. But if your landing page doesn't match your headline and your image and you start to become more aggressive or you start to mismatch your messaging through your headlines and your landing pages and your offers, you will not succeed and your conversion rates will drop drastically. So how do we fix this as marketers? How can we address this concern to make sure our campaigns remain profitable? Well, whether we're creating ads or we're creating content on YouTube for our audience, the fact of the matter is we need to continue to create real valuable content and we need to be more genuine in our messaging. Meaning we need to really believe that the product is something that will help the end user. The more we do this, the more trust we can provide to people and the more testimonials of real people having success with the products we promote, the more likely our campaigns will continue for years to come. You see, these things don't change. People want products to fix problems. We need to give them the message that these products we're promoting will help them, and if they truly will help them, and we create good content for these people, then this is going to last into the future, no matter how many things change over the years. I truly believe in that, and I really do think that this is important to understand, and I think that while we create content, we start to think about the end user more, rather than trying to get the flashy headline that is always going to get the click. Really, we need to get the click, we need to engage the user, and we need to get that conversion, and that is, a, that is not as easy as a lot of these uh, videos will make it out to be. So you have to really understand the path from start to finish, whether it's a funnel or whether it's a click and they read the landing page and they go to the offer, really understanding that path that the consumer is taking is going to be more and more important as we go into the future. And the fifth and final reason why affiliate marketing will be dead for many affiliates in 2024 is simply because of the rising ad costs and the inability to read data. You see a lot of affiliates coming in, especially into this game, 
think you can just go in and create an ad campaign, bid on a couple of keywords, or set up an ad on Facebook, and start spending $100 or $200, and then converting that money into profits through a CPA affiliate network or something like that. The reality is the cost per click is going up drastically every single year. More people coming into the space, only so many ad placements, and everybody wants those ad placements. So the importance of really understanding data comes into play here. And a lot of people coming into affiliate marketing don't have the experience to really read and understand and track affiliate campaigns. So if you're coming into this, and you think it's going to be easy, one thing I wanna really stress right now is the importance of tracking everything. You need to track every single click. You need to be relentless on your desire to get conversions, and you need to test and tweak everything and remove things that aren't working. And in order to do that, you need to understand and read data. That is the key to success with affiliate marketing on paid traffic sources. So how do we beat the rising ad costs? Well, you see, if you just go to an affiliate network and you start running the offers that are mainstream, meaning everyone has access to these offers, all of the affiliates are out there running these offers, you're all competing for the same traffic, then obviously this is going to get saturated really quickly. And if you don't have an advantage over those other affiliates, then you're just gonna become another statistic of a guy who thought he could start affiliate marketing and make a whole bunch of money and then decided to go get a job offline. Trust me, if you wanna make money with affiliate marketing, you need to start building relationships. This came up in a interview I had with Attila Audrey not long ago, where his main advice was, you need to network. You need to find advertisers to work with directly. You need to understand what they want for customers, get data from them if you have to, and use that data yourself to create your own unique ad campaigns. This is the future of affiliate marketing. If you cannot build networks, you cannot find offers directly that are something that no one else can get access to and payouts that no one else has, then you are going to be another number. You're just going to be another person that fails eventually. So I know this sounds like I'm telling you that there's no chance and I hope I'm not demotivating you. What I'm telling you is if you want to be the one percenter, you need to start acting like the one percenter and you need to build relationships and you need to start to really find things that people aren't already doing and be creative and be yourself and really truly understand that content is still king. Branding is king. Becoming somebody who is trusted in the industry is king. Okay, That is how you're going to succeed with affiliate marketing not only in 2024, but well into the future. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have more questions, you wanna take our training, check out the links down below in the description. I'm also here to answer any comments and I'd love to hear your opinions on the future of affiliate marketing.